Hello everyone, my name is Christine. In this video, I will talk about two topics. First, continuing the use of Gmail discussing in the previous video. I will introduce other functions of Gmail, such as storing messages, deleting and restoring messages, filtering email messages, and managing contacts. Second, I will introduce a web browser application called Chrome. Internet Explorer is one of the best known programs for surfing the internet. Many people who use webmail often have a hotmail Live mail or Yahoo email address. Things both of these tasks can be accomplished just as easily with free Google programs. Why not give them a try? Google has also created a web browser called Chrome. You can use Chrome to surf the internet. The program has a nice interface and it is easy to use. If you already have experience with Internet Explorer or one of the other web browsers, learning how to use Google Chrome will be a snap. Since the program is much similar to Internet Explorer, it also operates faster. And you can Customize the program yourself by changing its preferences settings. Therefore, you will learn the following topics from this video, such as how to install Google Chrome, set a new home page, set a theme, and search for Google Chrome. Let's start it. I hope you will enjoy it and learn a lot. Creating filters. Filters will search your messages for specific words, subjects, addresses, or senders. When the message is found, Gmail can directly save it to the correct folder and add a label or a star to the message. Click the button of setting and click settings. Then click filter. In this page, you will see that there is no any filters in your Gmail. Now click create a new filter. You have to fill the information to create a filter. Tap location in the subject. And then click create filter with this search. Here you can determine what to do with the message that match your filter's criteria. You can select multiple options. Click Choose Label and click Vacation.
The existing messages with this subject are already labeled vacation. If that is not yet the case, check the box next to also apply filter to one matching conversation. Then click create filter. Now the filter has been created and will be applied to all new messages. Contacts. You can save all persons or companies with whom you have regular correspondence as contacts. This means you will not have to type their full address every time you want to send them a message. Click Contact. You most likely will not see any contacts yet, but your window may already show a few contacts. You are going to add your own name as a family member. Click Family. And click New Contact. In this page, you can tap your name Type your Gmail address. Then click Save Now. Your information has been added. If you want to add groups, how to do that? Click New Group. Tap a name for the group. Then click OK. Now you will see the new group. You can delete a group by selecting it and click More. And click Delete Group. This message is used to confirm that if you want to delete the group or not. Click OK. If you delete a group, the contacts will still be saved in the My Contacts group. Now you can select this group when you compose a new message. Click Mail. Click Compose Mail. Click To. Click Family.
and click your name. The contact will be added to your message. You can add multiple contacts to a single message. At the bottom of the window, click Select. The contact is now set to receive this message. In the subject, type vacation. In the message content, type have a nice holiday. Finally, click Send. Then click All Mail. Now you will see the All Mail window and after a short while, you will see the message you have sent. Click Vacation. The Vacation filter creates in the previous section. Place the message in the Vacation folder. Click Inbox. The message O can also be found in the inbox. In the inbox, you will quickly find all new messages. Afterwards, you can archive the messages. Check the box next to the message. Click Archive. Now the inbox is empty. You can delete the contacts you do not want to use. To the left of the window, click Contact. If necessary, check the box next to the contact. Then click More button and then click Delete Contact. If the contact is in a different group, then select this group first. At this point, you have learned to use Gmail's main functions. When you have finished, you can sign out. Click your Gmail address and then click sign out. Set Google Chrome as your web browser. In addition to the well-known popular web browsers such as Internet Explorer and Firefox, you may find it fun and interesting to surf the web with a new kind on the block, Google Chrome. This is how you install the web browser application. Step 1. Browse to www.google.com.
Bluetooth.com/slash/options. Then click Google Chrome. Click the button to download Chrome. If you accept the terms, click Accept and Install. During the download and install process, you will see this window. You will see the web browser and its home page. First, close Google Chrome and all other windows. Close all windows. Setting a home page. Using Google Chrome to surf the web is much the same as using any of the other web browsers, such as Internet Explorer and Firefox. By clicking the icons, you will quickly learn how to use the program. In the next section, you will learn about some of the operations and functions that are different from the other web browsers. On the desktop, you see a shortcut to Google Chrome. Double click the button of Google Chrome icon. You will see the Google is your ho home page now. Now you are going to change the home page in the address bar. Tap Visual Steps. Then press Enter. The address bar is also a search box. If you do not tap a web address, you will see the search results for your keywords. Again, Click the search bar and type CYCU and press enter. Now click the second link of the search results. Now you will see the Chongyuan Christian University website. To set this website as your home page, click the button at the top of the window. And then click Settings. On Startup, 
Click the radio button next to the Open a specific page or set of page. Click Set Pages. Then click Use Current Pages. You will see the CYCU website address and the description of the website. And click OK. If you have not yet opened this web page, you can enter the web address yourself by URL. Now you can enter the web address. Now the Yahoo website is your second page. If you want to delete the page, you can click the button on the web page. And click OK. Now the web page has been added. This web page will be open whenever you start Google Chrome. Close the Google Chrome and restart the Google Chrome again. Now you will see the CYC website on the start up. You can also select the web page by click click this button. This button is used to open a home page. How to set a website as your home page? You can do that. Click the button at the right hand side of the window. And then click settings. Under Appearance, you can enable or disable the Home button for your Google Chrome. If you do not want to show the Home button on your browser, check the box and then the Home button will be disabled. Now, the home page website is Google website. If you want to change the website, click change. Then you can type another URL to set a new home page. and then click the button of OK. If you want to personalize your web browser, you can select a theme. Under the appearance, you can click the button to get a theme. Click Get Themes. On 
this page you can see a lot of themes are provided in the Chrome Web Store. Then you can select a theme that you want to set the appearance for Google Chrome. Now I click a theme in this page. to preview the details of the theme. Then click Choose Theme. After a short while, the theme will have been applied. Now the Google Chrome has a different appearance. Bookmarks In Google Chrome, you can use bookmarks to quickly browse to frequently visit websites. This is how you add a bookmark. Browse to www.google.com slash option. Then click the star button on the search bar to bookmark this page. You can also type a different name for this bookmark. For now, this will not be necessary. You can add the most important bookmarks to the bookmarks bar. and that's important bookmarks to the other bookmarks folder. Click Bookmarks Bar. And click Done. Now you will see this bookmark appear on the bookmarks bar. And the star is turned into a yellow star. Surfing with Google Chrome. After you have set your home pages and bookmarks, you will discover that using Google Chrome to surf the internet is similar to using other web browsers. It takes a little while to get used to the new icons and to the different functionality of the home button. But in no time at you will find that Google Chrome is easy to use. Now you will see the home page you have set. Then open a new tab. This page lists some applications of Google. Also, you can click the most visits This page contains some nails of web pages you most visited. You may see different thumbnails on your own screen. Then you can click a thumbnail to open the website.
Now you will see the web page. You can click a bookmark to directly open a page. Click a bookmark. The web page that has been bookmarked will be opened. To use the bookmarks in the other bookmarks folder, you need to click other bookmarks first and then click the bookmark to open the website. To delete a bookmark, you can right click the bookmark and then click delete. The bookmark is removed from the bookmark bar. You will see that Google Chrome remembers your browsing history and will accept cookies just like the other web browsers. This is how you delete this information. At the top right of the window, click the button. Then click Settings. Now click History at the left-hand side of the window. This page shows all your browsing history. If you want to delete the history, you can choose the web page and then click Remove Selected Items. So you can click OK. Additionally, you can click the Clear Browsing Data. And you can check the bugs next to the items you want to clear. Then click Clear Browsing Data. By the way, you can also clear the browsing history for a specific amount of time. You can click the button to choose the desired period. Finally, click Clear Browsing Data. Now the Google Chrome is clear your browsing data. In this video, you have been briefly introduced to Google Chrome. The options available in this program are much the same as other web browsers. Google Chrome has much more to offer, but the operations you have learned in this video will help you get used to the program and discover its possibilities.